Ladies. Okay, so we're back for part two. We're using Fraxel. It's a roller technology right here, if you can see that there. So this is going to roll over the skin and deliver energy to the treatment area. So we are using the 1927 wavelength right now. We are doing it directly on top of the area that we have done the microneedling. And the 1927 is going to focus more on the pigment on the surface of the skin. So we're gonna get a little bit of improvement in the texture as well as the discoloration or any sun damage, things that we kind of pick up over time. So I did one little test pass and she was great with it. If you look closely here, I just wanna show you, now that a little bit of color has developed, we've got redness in the area that we did the needling. It's not really warm necessarily, a little bit warm feeling. Um, you may not see that, but there's just little tiny bits of swelling, a little bit of irregularity that's from the swelling that will go down. Um, if we were doing it by itself, I would say that it's typically just about a day of the redness and puffiness in the area, and then about three to 12 days that you have these tiny little sandy textures on the skin from the micro scabs. They flake away and it's different for everyone. By adding in the Fraxel, we are doubling the benefit, so we are also going to increase our downtime ever so slightly. So we're probably looking at about, um, you know, five or so days of redness, mild swelling, and then that sandy texture for a little bit longer, but it's still winter-ish, so we're able to cover it with long sleeves. It's a good time of the year to have it done. So we're gonna start right up here. Here we go and you can hear it just glide along the skin right over the area that we've already treated. So Fraxel puts little tiny, um, not so much holes, but little areas that get laced by the energy and those areas that are affected will flake away and reveal the healthy skin. And Fraxel can be done all over the body. It's great as a, I'm gonna just put you this way, it's great medically to reduce the likelihood of skin cancers. It will eradicate any unusual or changing cells, the AKs and those little sandy spots that we kind of feel, little rough spots that sometimes you feel when you go to the dermatologist. This is great for that and also for the cosmetic benefit. So we do Fraxel on the face, on the body. Um, we use Fraxel at a different wavelength to treat deep acne scars or to treat deep um, or uh, thickened scars, whether it's a traumatic scar or scars from surgery. There's a lot that we can do now to enhance the appearance of things. So this is one of the go-tos for us because it targets such a wide variety of concerns and conditions. So I'm just going to continue in this one area. You could see that before there's a little bit of irregularity in the color and the treatment just from little spots in between the laser. We went very carefully over the bone at different settings to just kind of target this skin, but the setting, the depth that the needles are penetrating here were different than they were penetrating in this area. As you can see, the thickness and the, the tissue is different. And now with Fraxel, we're on pass number four and we'll be doing about eight or so passes. So the redness will continue to develop. It becomes very even. And then we'll just start with the aftercare. Are there any questions? Not yet, snoozing. All right, well, if you guys have questions, please let me know. I'm gonna finish up here. I want to let you see a little bit of what our combination therapies look like and how they change. I'll post a picture of the redness or what it looks like immediately after so you can see. And we'll go from there. If you guys have questions, let me know. Thanks for tuning in.